Okay. I think I'm filming. So I'm going to try and do like a demonstration of these Tibetan rites. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try. I'm going to tip that up just a bit for this first intro. So I'm at a park in Scottsdale near where I'm staying. And uh, just got done doing my Tibetan rites. And I do 21 repetitions of each of these five movements. But I thought I just wanted to get a record of, of me doing it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I hope that's working. So we'll find out here in a bit. So the first one is, is spinning. And you do 21 of these revolutions. I'll get out here a bit. This is all it is. You hold your arms out straight and you spin always clockwise, always to the right. Okay, that's enough. That just gives you an idea of what you do. You don't start out doing 21, you start out with as many as you can do without. You start out with as many as you can do without uh, tipping over. And there, it's in the book called Eye of Revelation, you know, how to get into it. It took me about a month and a half, two months to get up to the level they want you to do every day. So, I mean, that's the first, right? The second one is just, you lay on a fair rug. I usually take my shoes off on, oh, well, I will. It makes it where there's less weight when you pick your legs up. So this is the second right. And you do that 21 times. So. Alright. Now the third right is relatively simple. I'll bring this over here just a little bit. I like that will be more centered the way the camera's facing me. Third right is just like this. Chin, chin tuck and bend forward at the waist as far as you can. Putting your hands here to balance and keeping the torso straight. Bend back as far as you can. And do that 21 times when you build up to it. Now the, the fourth pose is probably one of the most difficult ones. I'll just do it. It's called the plank pose. like up dog, down dog in yoga, but it's a little different. Alright, so that's the five Tibetan rides. Shoot, this Wind blew that thing up in the way. I'm gonna do that one over again, case. Dang, help me out here. There's also a sixth right, which is in this position when you have an erection and you wanted to rechannel the sexual energy up. Basically, blow the breath all the way out, and you hold it out, and you've got an erection on, and then. You stand up straight with your breath, breath all the way blown out and you, you hold it as long as you can. And that basically has the diaphragm sucking up 
and the energy then sucks up from the erection and, and you'll go soft in two or three breaths. So rather than ejaculating that energy out, it comes back up through the pineal gland and renews the body. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm going to turn this thing off now.